Hey, Steve Boyko here. I want to talk about uh, Train Station 2 and competitions. So competitions run every now and then between the major events and basically they pit you against a bunch of players to get some engine parts. Um, these are uh, competitions are things that you could probably ignore if you wanted to or you can participate in uh, while you're doing your regular building and uh, shipping materials in Train Station 2. It's entirely up to you. So it's uh, this trophy cup on the right. If you poke on it, it gives you a delivery challenge and it lists you again and the other players. What it's doing now is perfectly normal the first time it runs. Uh, basically, it uh, doesn't really load well. You can see I'm on top at zero, but that's not accurate. So um, give it a minute and uh, it'll come up. What will happen is that it gives you new jobs. So here on the side, you can see I have a new job on the far left uh, for this uh, red-haired stewardess uh, to deliver uh, a bunch of barrels. And I will get seven stamps. So the stamps are basically the currency. The more stamps you get, the higher you rank in the competition. And um, and so that'll, that'll determine whether or not you win. So... Here now you look at the stamps, you see uh, absolutely no one in my group has any stamps at all. Um, yeah, but in this case, you're going for money. Sometimes it's engine parts, this time it is coins. Uh, so you can see that it's pretty lucrative to get on top at number one. 20,000 coins is nothing to sneeze at. So um, away you go and uh, you just start doing these jobs. And this is a little different, this one, than previous ones. Because previous ones typically they would give you um, a list of uh, a list of combinations to do. Like they might say uh, send six epic trains, and then when you get six epic trains, then you got a certain amount of uh, competition currency. Um, this one is uh, that you just have one job to do. So, <clears throat> in all cases, to prepare for these competitions, you should have a lot of materials on hand. So you can see here, I've stuffed my warehouses full. Uh, these guys here are overstuffed. So I've got all my factories all, all full. I have a little bit of room in my warehouse here. See, I'm 3291 out of 4300. Uh, but I've manufactured as much material as possible. And also for the competitions, sometimes they ask you to complete a building or to upgrade a train. So I have three buildings ready to go. I have some train parts ready to go. Uh, I won't need those for this competition, so I can just go ahead and and um, you know upgrade these buildings now but uh, you, you, preparation is key for these things if you actually want to win them uh, but as I say you can also cheerfully ignore them and uh, move on so for example here I could ignore uh, her and just do my regular jobs but uh, I am going to participate because money is important I have 68,000 coins which is, seems like a lot but once you get uh, up at my level 256 and on the, these later maps, uh, each engine upgrade takes a lot of coins, so uh, it's important to have a lot. So that's a quick intro to competitions, uh, another facet of the game. Another nice thing about the game that uh, just came out is this uh, headquarters. And uh, these competitions, if winning the competitions gives you more points, so it improves your headquarters rank. And um, so that's another reason why you might want to participate in a competition is to get into at least 6th to 10th place. And in fact, you get you get a little bit of, even if you place a little bit of victory points or um, even if you go below 10th. And uh, what that does is it increases your VP rank and uh, you get the various rewards as you level up. So here I'm seven, 17 out of 60. So uh, when I get to the end of this, I'll get 310 blue parts, which is great. So um, that's uh, another good reason to participate in competitions. So my recommendation is participate in the competitions, but, uh, you know, don't get too obsessed about it. They're not as important as events, in my opinion, but they're kind of a fun little addition. So have fun playing. Thanks for watching.